Here we're trying to find the force on this wire that's in this x direction right here. And we know that the current is going in a negative x direction here. And we know that there's two components of the magnetic field, one that's in the, the y and one that's in the x. And we're just going to try to find the force. So to do that, we need to use the equation, uh, you know, i and then l cross b. And so when we try to take the... Uh, the, the, the d's on both sides, the differentials, we'll get i, and then here we would use dl cross b. And uh, in order to sort of get this going, uh, let's break this part into two different differentials, because we'll have one and then the other with the x component and the y component. So first we'll think about l cross with bx, and then we'll think about l cross with B, Y. Um, and you can think of it as a DL if you want. But what we're looking at is essentially, um, we could go at any point here. We'll, we'll start with that one, and we'll call that one our little DL. We're going that direction. And if we try to cross this with the BX, which is this one, then we're going to notice uh, it's zero degrees. So because um, it's sine, um, you know, L, B, X, sine theta, and sine of zero is zero, then here we get zero. So the whole x component of this magnetic field and this thing, it's, it's all just gonna be zero. We don't even have to worry about that. Let's focus now on the y side. Here instead, we're gonna get the whole 90 degree angle. And so that way, when we get our sine L, B, Y, sine theta, it's gonna be, you know, one. So essentially this will just go away. We're gonna have um, DF, is really going to be equal to i, and then um, this is only the by component, and uh, the dl comes first. <laughs> dl cross with by. So, um, yeah, so df equals i, and then dl, and then by sine theta. This goes away, and we're just left with this. Um, so we can try to figure that out. Uh, we're going to try to integrate that as well. We'll get the 3.81. And I guess this is in the negative direction. So we'll go ahead and put that negative. Um, and then uh, that's the I side. Um, the DL. Let's see what our range was going to be. So it's going to be from 1.46 to 3.14 and then we still have this whole uh, by situation that we have in there um, by is just this so we're going to stick that in there I guess we put that in here so 8.62 x squared and uh, this is over the DL um, we could actually pull this out as well but we can see this is easy integral. It's just going to be x to the third over 3. And then we've got the two constants out here, negative 3.81. Um, that's in amps. And then we also have the 8.62, but this is in millitesos. Deal with that. And we're just going to go from 1.46 to 3.14. These are meters, so... Nothing too crazy there. We do that in our, comp our, cal our calculator. So we got 3.14 to the third divided by three minus 1.46 to the third divided by three. And we can multiply that by negative uh, 3.81 times 8.62 to the third. Okay. So, yeah, we're just getting this um, negative 0.304, or 0.305 here. Uh, the force is equal to uh, negative 0 0.305. Um, and if we're trying to figure out, you know, what direction that is, well, if we do the cross product and we've got this and then there, let's see, it would be something like this. The force should be pointing upwards. But because it's negative, it's going to be going downwards. And so uh, this is technically in the Z direction. Yeah. So we can put it in the page kind of like uh, like this negative Z direction. 
Awesome.